People on the internet and up and down the Shenandoah River tonight are sharing the story of Fergus the dog, a beautiful, rambunctious Chesapeake Bay retriever. He was swept away in high water over the Memorial Day weekend. And here's where Fergus disappeared in the Front Royal area. His family in Frederick is convinced he's still alive and they are desperate to bring him home. Bruce Lashan is on the Shenandoah tonight with what you can do to help. Yeah, Leslie, look at the Shenandoah. It looks beautiful right now, but it is pretty intense underneath the surface, surface moving pretty good, and that's what it was doing when Fergus, the dog, was simply swept away. Now, neighbors say that uh, one of the most important things that you can do right now is share his story, and they want to get the word out if someone has him. They're convinced that he is okay someplace out here in the woods or that someone has them and doesn't realize how important it is to get him back. Big, friendly Fergus at a year old, not much more than a puppy, as eager to jump in your lap as jump in the water. Basically saw something bobbing in the river and just jumped right in after it. It was the Friday before Memorial Day. The Shenandoah River had swollen overnight at Front Royal, and it was moving too fast, even for a Chesapeake Bay retriever. And he tried to turn to come back to the bank. You could see his eyes were real big and he was paddling really hard. But once he realized he wasn't going to make it, his instincts took over and he kind of pointed his nose downstream and started swimming with the current. Seth Cowan says his daughter's dog was gone in less than a minute. They searched the banks for hours. 11-year-old Maggie was inconsolable. Horror, panic, screaming his name, you know, Fergus, Fergus. Across the Shenandoah Valley, volunteers are looking for Fergus. Uh, this is my dog, Ruger. If you can see her back there. The searchers include Lisa Jones of Full Tilt Tracking, who says her dog has Ferguson's scent. We've been following sightings ever since right now. I think we're up to about the seventh sighting on him. Thousands of people have shared Ferguson's story on social media. His family is nowhere near giving up hope. If anybody can help us, please, you know, this is my daughter's dog. It was a gift to her. This is, this is you know, this is breaking my heart to watch her go through this. I would really love to get my dog back. And that was Bruce Lashan reporting. By the way, canine trackers say dogs can survive a long time scavenging in the wild and even longer if someone hasn't picked up Fergus and doesn't realize how desperately his family wants him back. He's got a white blaze on his chest. He's got an ID chip implanted in his body. And if you go to Bruce Lashan's Facebook page, there's even more information for you to know and maybe helpfully reunite that family.